Good morning. Um, let me give an addendum real quick to uh, what I said uh, earlier this morning, uh, 11.45 last night, uh, regarding uh, giving uh, contact information to your to your good friend who's uh, either is in the process of studying the Bible with disciples or has already done so. Um, you need to be careful when you give contact information to a disciple. Uh, and by disciple, that definition is someone who is a member of the ICLC. Um, because it's possible that that information could be used against you. Uh, as in, uh, that information could be uh, compiled into a list of uh, potential uh, candidates for, for Bible study and, and contact. Um, I have several email addresses. Some of them are what I call dummy email addresses, as in uh, if I'm registering for something that might be a potential uh, constantly sending me an email, I will use one of my dummy email addresses. Uh, and I'll check it every once in a while. Uh, but that's what I use a dummy email address for. May I suggest that you use an email address It's not your personal email address. I definitely would suggest you do not use your work email address when giving those to uh, uh, disciples of the ICOC. Telephone numbers, um, that's kind of iffy. Um, I think it depends on your friendship with uh, the relationship you have with your friend, um, although when someone becomes a disciple, uh, there's a, a potential, I'll use the word danger, there's a potential danger that their thinking process is going to change. Um, you have to remember, they're thinking, um, if you're not a disciple, you're lost, and you're going to hell. Uh, so their goal, while uh, at one time it used to seem like their goal was entire world domination, um, their goal is somewhat sincere in that they want to save the world for Jesus Christ. Uh, unfortunately, I'll center myself here. Unfortunately, that salvation is a work salvation. Um, so, if you give your cell phone number, which most cell phone numbers nowadays are unlisted, you are taking a risk of that number being abused. Um, I know there are services out there uh, that you can... Uh, A separate telephone number rather cheaply um, I know there's a service called um, I'm sorry it's it's 11 after 5 a.m. Central Standard Time I just woke up so I'm not thinking hundred percent clearly here uh, there's a service called iBox I uh, uh, I B O C S uh, myibox.com uh, m-y-i-b-o-c-s dot com where for a minimal fee monthly fee you have access you have an email address and a toll free number uh, that you can use with that um, that, that means you're spending some money okay you're spending a little bit of uh, spending some dime on that. You may not have to do that. Uh, I'll tell you what. In giving contact information to a friend that's in the ICLC, may I suggest you use just a dummy email address. Uh, they're cheap, as in most of them are free. Uh, Yahoo, Hotmail, um, I don't know what else to say, but 
uh, I woke up this morning and I thought, you know, I need to get, I need to do an addendum to last night's message because otherwise I'm going to catch a lot of flack for that. But anyway, uh, just be cautious when you give information to uh, an ICOC member uh, because it, like I said, it could be used against you and uh, you don't want that. Um, have a good day. It's Friday. And uh, God bless.